Get ready for a wild ride with a story that'll make you laugh, blush, and maybe even feel a little jealous. Join me as I recount my unforgettable encounter with a stunning older woman while shopping for lingerie at a boutique. From my shy and nervous demeanor to my hilarious attempts at being smooth, you won't want to miss a single moment of this unforgettable experience. So grab your popcorn and get comfy, because this story is one you won't soon forget. I remember my first job like it was yesterday. I was 18, fresh out of high school, and ready to take on the world, or at least the retail world. I landed a job as a dock boy at Macy's, which basically meant I spent my days unloading boxes and pushing carts around the store. It wasn't the most glamorous job, but it paid the bills and gave me some spending money. One of the perks of the job was getting to vacuum the dressing rooms. I know, I know, vacuuming doesn't sound like a perk, but hear me out. The intimate dressing rooms were my favorite because they didn't have any cameras, which meant I could window shop all of the items left behind. And let me tell you, people left some pretty interesting things behind. I saw everything from lacy thongs to leather harnesses. It was like a peep show without the guilt. But there was one thing that always made the job a little bit better, and that was the older lady who worked the desk in the department. She was beautiful, always dressed in silky blouses and skirts that flowed like water. Every time I saw her, my heart skipped a beat. I never really talked to her much, though. I was too nervous and didn't want to come across as a creep. So I just kept my head down and did my job. But every time I heard her sweet voice greeting customers or answering the phone, I couldn't help but smile. She was like a ray of sunshine in the otherwise dull and dreary store. One day, I quit the job and moved on to bigger and better things. But a few weeks later, something happened that changed my life forever. I decided to take a trip to a lingerie boutique to buy some lingerie for myself. I know, it sounds crazy, but hear me out. I had always been curious about lingerie and how it would feel to wear it, so I mustered up the courage to go to the boutique and browse. As I stepped into the small boutique, my heart started pounding in my chest. The rows of delicate lace and silk garments were a far cry from the cargo shorts and t-shirts I was used to wearing. I tried to appear casual as I strolled through the racks, browsing the different styles of lingerie. Suddenly, my heart skipped a beat as I caught a glimpse of the older lady from Macy's, who was now working behind the register. My palms started sweating as I realized she had caught my eye, and I quickly looked away, pretending to examine a brulette. But as I moved through the boutique, I couldn't shake the feeling that she was watching me. I couldn't tell if it was just my imagination or if she had recognized me from my time at Macy's. As I approached the section with the panties, my eyes scanned the different styles and colors. I tried to choose a few different pieces, hoping to find something that would look flattering on me. I was nervous and excited at the same time, feeling like a teenager on a first date. I finally settled on a few different pieces— some sheer white full bottoms, some satin thongs, and even a black satin corset. I took a deep breath, trying to calm my nerves, and approached the register where the older lady was standing. She greeted me with a friendly smile, and I could feel my cheeks turning red as I laid the items on the counter. She started scanning each tag, holding up each piece and commenting on its beauty. I was so embarrassed that I could barely make eye contact with her, but despite my nerves, I couldn't help but feel a sense of comfort around her. There was something about her gentle demeanor that put me at ease. I found myself opening up to her, telling her about how nervous I was to be buying lingerie for myself. Finally, she scanned the last tag and placed her hand on the pile of lingerie I had selected. I braced myself, waiting for her to make a comment or judgment, but instead, she looked up at me with a smile. These are lovely pieces she said, gesturing to the pile of lingerie. You have great taste. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Was she really complimenting me? My nerves started to ease up a bit, and I began to feel more comfortable. I fumbled with my wallet, trying to pull out the cash I needed to pay. My hands were shaking, and I dropped some of the bills on the counter. The older lady picked them up for me and smiled again. Don't be nervous, dear, she said. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I felt a sense of relief wash over me as I handed her the cash. 
It was like she could sense my anxiety and was doing everything she could to make me feel comfortable. As she bagged up my lingerie, I mustered up the courage to ask her a question. Do you, do you wear lingerie? I blurted out. She raised her eyebrows in surprise and chuckled. Well, yes, I do. It's part of the job, you know. I felt silly for asking such a personal question, but I was genuinely curious. What's your favorite piece? I asked. She smiled knowingly. That's a secret, she said, handing me my bag. But I'm sure you'll find your own favorite soon enough. I almost forgot to ask, would you like to try them on, dear? I couldn't believe my ears when the older lady, whose name I found out was Linda, asked me if I wanted to try on the lingerie. My heart raced at the thought of it, but I was nervous and unsure. What if she thought it was weird? What if she judged me? But at the same time, I couldn't resist the opportunity. I wanted to feel what it was like to wear lingerie, and I knew that Linda would be supportive and non-judgmental. So I nodded my head and said, yes, please. As soon as we finished the transaction, the older lady led me to a dressing room where I could try on the lingerie pieces that I had purchased. I was nervous and excited at the same time. I had never worn lingerie before, let alone tried it on in a store. But the thought of modeling it for this beautiful woman made me feel giddy. She handed me a small pile of hangers and told me to take my time. I went into the dressing room and closed the door, feeling a mix of excitement and anxiety as I undressed. I picked up the first piece and examined it, a silky black nightgown that I had picked out because it was so simple and elegant. It looked tiny in my hands, and I wasn't sure how I was going to fit into it. I put it on over my head and pulled it down over my body. The material was smooth against my skin, and I couldn't help but feel sexy in it. I turned around to look in the mirror and gasped. I looked different not just because I was wearing a nightgown, but because something about it made me feel more confident, more self-assured. I stepped out of the dressing room to show the older lady. She beamed at me and told me how beautiful I looked. I blushed and looked down, feeling suddenly shy. Next up was a lacy red bra and panty set that I had picked out on a whim. I had never worn anything like it before, and I was nervous about how it would look on me. But as soon as I put it on, I felt transformed. The bra pushed up my chest, making me feel like I had curves in all the right places. The panties hugged my hips, emphasizing my assets. The older lady clapped her hands and told me how stunning I looked. I felt a rush of excitement at her praise, like I had accomplished something important. We continued like this for what felt like hours, trying on piece after piece and marveling at how they made me look and feel. I lost track of time as I twirled and posed in front of the mirror, feeling beautiful and powerful in a way I never had before. As we finished up, the older lady gave me a hug and told me how proud she was of me. She said that it takes a lot of courage to be true to oneself and that I had shown a lot of bravery in coming into her store and trying on lingerie. I left the store feeling like a different person. The experience had given me a new sense of confidence and self-assurance. I knew that I was going to keep exploring this part of myself and that I had found a community of people who would support me along the way. I couldn't stop thinking about my experience at the lingerie boutique with the older lady from Macy's. It had given me a newfound sense of confidence and self-acceptance that I had never felt before. As I lay in bed that night, I kept replaying the events of the day in my head. I remembered how nervous I had been when I first walked into the boutique unsure if I even had the courage to go through with buying lingerie for myself. But then I saw her, the older lady from Macy's, and everything changed. I felt a rush of excitement and fear all at once. It was like I was discovering a new part of myself, one that I had been afraid to acknowledge before. And then came the offer. The older lady had placed her hand on the pile of lingerie I had chosen and asked me if I wanted to try it on. It was a moment that would stay with me forever. I had been so nervous at the prospect of trying on the lingerie, but the older lady's encouragement and kindness put me at ease. As I modeled each piece for her, I felt more and more confident in my own skin. It wasn't just about the lingerie, either. It was about feeling seen and accepted for who I was, without judgment or ridicule. 
For the first time in my life, I felt like I could be myself completely, without fear of rejection. As I drifted off to sleep, I knew that this experience would be a memory that I would cherish forever. It had changed me in ways that I couldn't even begin to comprehend, and I was grateful for the older lady who had made it all possible. From that day on, I wore lingerie with pride, knowing that it was a part of who I was. And every time I walked past the Macy's where I used to work, I would think of the older lady who had helped me discover that part of myself, and I would smile. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.